Hey guys, welcome back to the Cypress series. In today's video, I'll explain you how we can refresh our page using Cypress command. So we have this website, which is amazon.ae. And let's say you're on this page. And uh, first of all, you are checking, there are some categories on the page. Let's say bestseller, new release, or different categories on the page. And afterwards, you reloaded your page, you refresh your page. And still that category should be there. It should not be gone. So this is the scenario which we will automate using Cypress. So first of all, let me just copy the URL. And in my code, I will write cy.visit to open my web application. Fine. So using my uh, using cy.visit, you can actually visit that, open that URL. Next step is, first of all, we will assert there are category. Let's say we are asserting this category is present on the page, right? So I'm using bestseller. So this is a uh, bestseller is a text over here. That's why I'll use cy.contains. So cy.contains and my locator, the text value, and I'll use dot should assertion. So I'll be checking this is visible on the page. This text is visible on the page, right? So I'll use b dot visible for that case. Next thing is, I want to refresh the page. So if you want to refresh the page in Cypress, we have a command cy.reload. So using cy.reload, it will refresh your page. And after refreshing your page, it is a good practice. You should make sure the text it's not gone. Let's say if there are multiple categories on the page, it should still be there. It should not be uh, hidden or it should not be gone after refreshing the page. So we will use the same assertion. Fine. So basically the thing is, the website should behave same as it was before reloading. The text should not be gone. If, let's say if you're on the payment, uh, maybe you're on the checkout page. And if you refresh the page, the card, the products are still there, right? So let's run our test case and see if it is working fine. So this is my Cypress, uh, Cypress uh, test runner. I'm choosing Chrome browser over here and next. I can choose my file. So this is my test case, a refresh page. Now it is opening the web application. You can see it is, then it will assert the text and now it reloaded. Did you see that? It reloaded our page and afterwards it actually verified the text is still present on the page or not. It's still visible or not. Fine. So this was a case when you are trying to refresh a page so normally when we refresh a page it actually takes the uh, content from a cache so whenever you visit any browser or any uh, web application it your browser stores certain files locally in a cache to improve the page loading time and it reduces the need to fetch the resources from the server every time whenever you re revisit the page so whenever you revisit the page in case of cache it automatically takes a locally stored data and with the help of which your page reload is quite is is uh, uh, quite faster because it does not make requests to the server every time, right? In case of cache, it directly takes from the locally stored files. But in in the cases where you don't want to fetch the data from the cache, you want to do hard refresh. So there are two kind of refresh. One is refresh with a cache, and one is without cache. So in, in case of without cache, if you don't want, that is what we call as hard refresh. So if you want to do hard refresh, so in Cypress, we can do it using cy.reload and passing true. So basically it tells Cypress to forcefully reload the page without caching, right? So in this, in this case also, it is refreshing only, but without caching. If you use cy.reload directly, it will be taking your file from cache. So let's run our test case and see if it is working fine. So this is my Cypress, Cypress uh, test runner. I'm choosing Chrome browser over here. And next I can choose my file. So this is my test case, a refresh page. Now it is opening the web application. You can see it is, then it will assert the text. And now it reloaded. Did you see that? It reloaded our page and afterwards it actually verified the text is still present on the page or not it's still visible or not fine so this was a case when you are trying to refresh a page so normally when we refresh a page it actually takes the uh, content from a cache 
so whenever you visit any browser or any uh, web application it your browser stores certain files locally in a cache to improve the page loading time and it reduces the need to fetch the resources from the server every time whenever you re revisit the page so whenever you uh, revisit the page in case of cache it automatically takes a locally stored data and with the help of which your page reload is quite is is uh, uh, quite faster because it does not make request to the server every time right in case of cache it directly takes from the locally stored files but in in the cases where you don't want to fetch the data from the cache you want to do hard refresh so there are two kind of refresh one is refresh with a cache and one is without cache so in in case of without cache if you don't want that is what we call as hard refresh so if you want to do hard refresh so in cypress we can do it using cy.reload and passing true so basically it tells cypress to forcefully reload the page without caching right so in this in this case also it is refreshing only but without caching if you use cy.reload directly it will be taking your file from cache but in case of cy.reload true you can reload your refresh your page without caching fine so i will use the same assertion over here as well and we can see on the page let's go back to the test case and refresh we run our test case and we'll see it will refresh twice the first time and you see second time it got refresh so in both the cases we can see our assertion got passed so uh, it is actually checking the text it's still visible it's not gone from the page fine so the next thing is it is by default your refresh your reload command actually waits for 60000 milliseconds before it gives you a timeout but if you want to provide a customized timeout you can also do that so how we can do you just have to pass inside dot cy dot reload you have to pass object so we will pass over here timeout and the timeout value whatever duration you want to pass let's say i want to pass 5000 so it will wait for 5000 and then it will uh, check for me assertion right so let's see let's run our test case and see so actually it is overriding the default value so by default it uh, before failing it waits for 60000 milliseconds but with this timeout value what it will do it will wait for 5000 it will not wait for 60000 it will wait for 5000 before failing right so in case if we do not have text present within 5 seconds or 5000 milliseconds it will throw an error on the page so as of now we saw all the happy cases where you are refreshing the page and you are finding that text on the page right but in real time project when you work in a real time project you can face a scenario where your text is not visible on the page after reloading maybe that can be a bug in your web application and like after reloading the page is uh, gone it's not visible on the screen so in that case how your test case would behave let's see that so in my last assertion like this one so i will just change my assertion value because i want to show you one negative scenario so this case will fail and we'll see how our test case behave so let me go back to the test runner and rerun my test case so this is my refresh page is my test case and let's see now it will reload it two times and after the third reload it will fail because the assertion value is not correct so it's trying to find this assertion this element so you see you are getting this error on the page it is saying expected to find content but it's it's not visible on the page so this is what will happen when your assertion will fail in case of after reloading if you do not have the expected text so this scenario also it's uh, very important to understand that's why i show you a negative case because not you will you will not always have a positive happy cases in your project you can also face negative uh, cases like this where your test case would fail so it's important to know why your test case is failing because it's not able to find that text right next one is so we saw three different types so there is one more uh, way to reload the page because we know cypress supports javascript as a language so we can also use some javascript inbuilt uh, functions 
So there is one more function which is uh, supported by JavaScript, provided by JavaScript, which is location dot reload. So using that, we can again refresh the page. So what I'll do? Uh, first of all, I'm using cy dot window, which is a Cypress inbuilt command, which is actually retrieving the global window object of the current page. So I will use cy dot window, right? And after that, I will do a callback function which receives this window object. So using dot then I am, I'll perform this callback function, which is uh, actually using your window object as an argument over here. So let me pass, let's say my argument is data. And inside this, you can use your uh, JavaScript code, right? So using data dot, so my code JavaScript code is location dot reload. So using this method, your page will refresh, right? So this is again the fourth way. So let me copy this assertion. So all the above three ones are actually reload, but different flavors of reload. Like first one is using with cache. If you are refreshing the page, second one is without cache. Third one is again reload, but with specific timeout. And the fourth one, which we are seeing now is again a reload, but using the JavaScript method which is location dot reload right so let's run our test case and see um, before running our test case what i'll do i'll just change the assertion because my test case would not execute in that case so now yeah this one as well yes so let's run our test case and see now it should refresh four times so mm, this is the first time now second time the third time and one more time so we saw in all the cases it is getting refreshed and it is asserting also on the page that our text is still visible even after the refresh also so yeah guys these are the different uh, ways so we saw using cypress inbuilt command which is a reload and using the javascript code as well different flavors also we saw of a reload like with cache without cache timeout and then this one so uh, I hope you understand the logic and the content and uh, please like and subscribe to the channel and share it with your friends and uh, keep, hit the bell icon. So whenever I upload such videos, you get the notification.